with a surprise for the shop. Get it early before the guys arrive. Uh, put the cob head out. Let's see what that can get us. We have to christen the new saltiga with a proper fish. So that's the mission today, is to, to actually get a nice fish on the, on the reel. crabs in the water so we decided to just grab a small rod put a small sardine on and a small hook on catch black tails try to run away from crabs now over the years through my experience here Every time we hook the bigger raggies, they have gone so clever. I think it's definitely a raggie. You can't say the size yet. They can really mess you around the rocks here. They stay on the edge here. Just trying to get past this very slippery rock here. Our fish was Roy in the Eastern Cape, who specializes on the raggies and the tagging project on them. Now Roy always used to tell me about the deep sea raggies, which you get in deeper points and deeper water that, that is used to the currents of the deeper water. And a much stronger raggie than what we used to off the beaches. I personally believe the raggies at Mazeppa are exactly these raggies, especially off the front of the island. Quite a stubborn raggie, as they are with the cold water and they come right from the edge here. So I came from this gully, so I was just pre-spooling it. Normally they will make that change, not pre-spooling, but you need a bit of line. Initially I thought it wasn't such a big fish. As the fight went on, I started realizing I'm into a really good bag. She used everything in her power to win this fight. Moving over these rocks while you've got a big fish on the other end can be quite treacherous. And you must watch your step and make sure you always wear proper gumboots. Rather take your time than falling into the drink and creating a whole new problem. Many times I've come short on the rocks with bruises and scratches. But over time, when you get used to a spot, it becomes quite a bit easier. This raggy got bigger and heavier the longer the fight went on. Now the right hand side of the island makes the fight especially difficult, with the water continuously sucking out there. Well, the raggy absolutely uses this to her advantage and sits in that current to go out again. As soon as you think you've got her close, she goes into the current and goes out again. And when you pull hard enough, which I really did, she wraps you around the rock in front. And this up and down ongoing battle went on for an hour and a half. She 
she really knew how to stretch your arms and definitely a worthy opponent. In most cases, raggies are quite easy to land off the beaches, but definitely not the same off the island at Mazeppa. After catching many raggies, it's always nice to still get a big one. But you always hope that you get that really, really big one, maybe your personal best. And that's the thoughts that cross your mind when your arms are aching and your body is aching in every possible spot. Do the run muscles. Now in a lot of cases we use the water and the waves to our advantage to help a fish out. But in this case when she was so big, she actually used the water against us and had the advantage. After a very long tiring fight, and a really worthy opponent, it was really a prize catch and well worth it every minute of it. It's definitely to the fish's benefit to have someone like Andrew around who knows these rocks inside out and really takes care in how he handles fish. <laughs> right. I was really chuffed to see that this raggy is definitely my personal best raggy. Who would have thought my first fish on the new Saltiga would have been a personal best reggae and not any reggae, a Mazeppa deep sea reggae. Now this is why I always put emphasis on the tackle you use, making sure your knots are to the optimum strength and that you do not have to worry about your hooks, knots, swivels, rod or reel and you can just concentrate on landing that fish. You never know when you're going to hook the next PB or a prize fish. To handle such a big fish, get her onto the rocks, move her around and release her again, you have to absolutely use the water. Wait for the waves to come in so that you do not damage the fish or keep the pressure on the body of the fish to a minimum. And always a special thanks to Mazeppa Bay Hotel for hosting us. Nothing better after a hard day's fishing, coming back to this hospitality and the absolutely great food.